So there are many diseases or conditions which are not caused by pathogens and we call these non-infectious diseases or conditions. So for example, colour blindness, red-green colour blindness, is, uh, has a genetic basis and can be passed down from parent to offspring therefore. Similarly, cancer has a genetic basis too and other conditions or diseases may be caused by diet or bad diet. So for instance, scurvy is caused by a lack of vitamin C in one's diet. You need to know a little bit more about cancer. Uh, cancer tumours are growths caused by cancer, cancerous cells and there are two types of tumour. Benign tumours um, they grow quite slowly and, and usually they're harmless. More dangerous are malignant tumours. Uh, these grow more quickly and they can spread throughout the, the body causing secondary tumours. They are much more dangerous and they're harder to treat. Now in your exam you might get a question where you have to analyse some data which suggests a link between lifestyle and diet and the chance of getting cancer. So for example, the graph on the left shows that as you smoke more and more cigarettes, there becomes a greater risk of getting lung cancer. The graph on the right shows that as you eat more and more fresh fruit, the chance of getting bowel cancer becomes less. Anyway, you could get any kind of graph to do with this, so you need to be aware that you may have to answer a question on it.